Okay, I've got one of my supersonic transports here. The one with the wider tail spacing I made. And I've got this little E-flight bomb release that I've installed in the top. It's got a little manual lever that you can pull the pin for loading the bomb. And I've made a little orbital transport styled piggyback glider with 3mm Depron BT-20 and I put a little nozzle on the back mostly so that I could uh, get the right CG for the glide. It's got a little mating receptacle with a receptacle with a hole in it so for loading you just put the glider on and push that little lever back. It's kind of hard to do it in video at the same time. Oops. Okay, so then it's spring-loaded. And it goes, the nice thing about these is the plate holds it in alignment and it's pretty strong. And it doesn't let it rotate. I can't use the little hook and a dowel like on the original orbital transport because this doesn't have an ejection charge, which stops the rocket and allows the glider to slide forward. This is a glider, so even if I stalled it, the glider might not slip off forward, so I've got to have some mechanism to hold and release it. So I'm probably going to have to roll inverted as I get to the top. I'll see if I can do this. Holding the rocket here upside down. And then switch on my transmitter. Hit the switch. And the glider should drop off, hopefully. There won't be too much wind or air resistance and it'll uh, pop off and right itself. We shall see.